It's amazing how many people that are in a terminal situation can reverse it if they take control of their own, you know, issues. More people should do it. But we give it all up to MDs, the right prescriptions for drugs from drug companies that own them. According to the Massachusetts General Hospital study, which was paid for by the Shriners Club, so there's no, no conflict of interest there, they say norinogen stops the transfer from, of the virus from one cell to another, which means that it will, and they state this, that norinogen will stop a chronic hepatitis C infection and change it to a, an acute infection, which is minor. And the way it does that is because the virus travels on LDL cholesterol from one cell to another, and it, it stops it from doing that. Now the viral load tests count both dead and live virus. So the viral load tests people are getting are staying the same maybe because we don't know how long it takes for the dead virus to be removed from the blood and it may come out of some people's blood quicker than others. We put a little note in every box that asks for people to call us or email us and, and tell, them, tell us our, their results. One girl called, she bought one bottle, she was, she had a viral load of 60,000 in July of 2008 and in 30 days she was non-detected. That's only one person. One man called who was 4 million, his went down to 1 million in 6 weeks, his LDL cholesterol also went down from 80 to 41 and he said that his ALT and AST were normal for the first time in his life. So what we've heard about norinogen is good although I see some people who take it and send me their lab work where I see no improvement in the viral load. So it's working on some people really good but it's not doing anything to other people's viral load which the same thing is also true about oxymetrin. I see it drop the viral loads dramatically in a lot of people and some people it doesn't do anything. I don't know why yet those are both two fairly new items and I there just isn't enough written about them and I haven't gotten enough feedback to be able to determine why that it doesn't work on some people. I am the only supplier retail supplier of norinogen in the world and the reason is uh, I, well, I I saw that study in February of 2008 showing that it stopped chronic hepatitis C and I went out in the world and tried to buy some and you can find some like vitamin C that have 14 milligrams of norinogen in it and there's a lot of different products where you might find 14 or 15 milligrams of norinogen but this is Lloyd's alternative medicine pharmacy is the only pure norinogen on earth for sale to the general public it comes from China it gets tested in an independent lab in Utah and then comes here and gets encapsulated in the United States in vegetarian capsules all norinogen is, norinogen is, is uh, a part of a grapefruit. It is the part of the grapefruit that gives the grapefruit that bitter taste. And it is pure norinogen. Anyway, that's why I have it and it's been, I've had it since February. Only took me a couple weeks to get it made and delivered. So I'm actually quite surprised that no one else is has done that yet because it's effective in, in a lot of cases. How did you decide what to make? What, uh, I mean, if this thing didn't exist before, what, how did you decide on a dosage? Or well, that was difficult because there isn't any guidelines to it. So I called people like Dr. Marshall and Dr. Saparito and Dr. Medici and uh, I talked to the 
the PhD at Douglas Labs who has, you know, just volumes of knowledge, just information you can't even believe about every supplement you could imagine. So I did uh, a, a good amount of research and got input from what I would call the world's greatest authorities on supplements before I bought it and had it made. And there's also a warning It's on the label. It says if you're taking prescription drugs, don't use this product because neurinogen can cause your liver to slow down its ability to remove certain drugs. And on the website under neurinogen, there's a list of the drugs that take longer to leave your system. But if you have hepatitis C, you shouldn't be taking drugs anyway. If you get some, call me and tell me how it worked. Because I want to know. I want to share it with the world. We're doing hepatitis C awareness here. If it was failing to produce money, they'd probably make a better test.